Good evening, people. Um, how you guys doing today? I will be going over a uh, passive reconnaissance room that is a part of the uh, Trihackney Junior Penetration Testing Path. Uh, so yeah, uh, we will start with introduction. So yeah, um, I think everything is more mainly like you guys have to kind of go through it and read it to answer those questions. So instead of me word to word reading it out loud, I'll just pause the recording and I'll let you guys, I'll give you guys a second to pause it so you guys can actually go um, over the reading part and then I'll just be answering the questions um, every time uh, for each task, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, you guys can go ahead and read the task one. Uh, there's not really any question here. So once you go through this and you are done reading, go ahead and um, finish. Uh, well, mark it as done. And then go ahead to passive uh, versus active reconnaissance. Um, I'll just go ahead and pause the recording real quick so you guys have a minute to read through this. And if there's any other questions, yeah, and then we could actually answer these questions together. But I'll see you guys in a second. So once you guys uh, read... Uh, the task two, uh, we can go ahead and start answering this question. So the first uh, question is, you visit a Facebook page of the target company, hoping to get some of their employee names. What kind of reconnaissance is act What kind of reconnaissance activity is this? A for active and P for passive. I would say P passive because it's already publicly available, so you're not really using any of the, you know. Uh, trying to access the uh, website through the HTTP, FTP, or SMTP. You're not pinging anything, or you're not using Nmap. So I would probably say P and see if we actually got it right. Yep. And then you ping the IP address of the company web server to check if the ICMP traffic is blocked. What kind of reconnaissance activity activity is this? A is for active and P for passive. Uh, pinging, like, I've pinged Google before, and I don't think that was active. So I would just go ahead and start passive. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess we have a directly interactive uh, session by pinging, so it is active, my bad. And then you happen to meet the IT administrator of the target company at a party. You try to use social engineering to get more information about their systems and network and structure, infrastructure. What kind of reconnaissance activity is this? Uh, that's obviously uh, active since you are using social engineering as stated above right here. So let's go ahead and activate. Uh, go ahead and start uh, task three. I'll probably, um, I'll give you guys a minute to go over it. You guys can go ahead and pause this video. So yeah, once you guys, um, once you guys go, go ahead and read through the task. What task are we on? I think task three. Okay. So the question is, on the attack box, open terminal and run who is tryhackme.com. Uh, instead of typing, I'm pretty lazy today. Uh, and then command to get information, you need to answer the following questions. This is the Kali machine. Get ahead and start the terminal. Mm. So we can go ahead and type who is try hack me dot com. C could not type because of the microphone was sitting right in front of me. Let's go ahead and get it. One was tryhackme.com registered. Um, let's go. Uh, it's probably somewhere around. Not really showing me the date. Okay, we have the oh creation date. And what is this? Updated. Oh, the creation it was 2018. It's somewhere around here. I think here in the States, we use the month first and then the date. But I think in Europe, they use the day, 
dates and then month. But let's go ahead and try this out. Probably this one right here. That's not it. Year, month, and date. That's what I did. Year, month, and date. So what is the registrar of triathme.com? Uh, give give its domain name. Um, probably this right here. Uh, Namecheap.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Um, so slow. Mm, paste it. And then which company is triathme.com using uh using foreign name service one name service wouldn't be the same it's not it give us domain name which company is trackme.com using for name service mm. so I gotta go through the whole thing Name cheap. We have the admin. We have the admin email. Okay, name server right here. Uh, Cloudflare.com. I think that's what we're using right now. Uh, let's go ahead and copy it. Um, boom. Not sure why it's so slow right now, bruh. Okay, thank you. So we go on, uh, let's go ahead and start task four. So, yeah, my bad. For our uh, task four, they asking uh, t for us, they asking to use NS lookup and dig. Uh, once you go through this, uh, we could actually go ahead and um, start the new one. And all you have to do is, um, you could try dig, try hackme.com, and the type will be MX, to get more mail service. And we have additional section. We can see that try hackme uses uh, google.com. For alternative mail services, servers, right here. Um, and Dick actually has more information. The new, um, on the new Cali Cali machine. So if you compare it, it's pretty much the same. Um, yes, it's about the same. Uh, we have everything we need right here. Uh, trackme.com. Uh, we have the mail servers as shown above. So it's pretty much the same. So we can go ahead and clear that out. Um, so the answer, the question is: Check the txt records of the thm uh, labs.com. So what you have to do is. Um, and go ahead. It's supposed to be dig thm labs dot com, and then the type will be txt. You should be getting that, and boom. Uh, as stated above, we do have the flag right here. All we have to do is just copy the selection, and you can paste it right here. Just like that, we have the flag been doing. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. You guys can go ahead and read it again. Mm -hmm. So task five it is asking to uh, look up tryhackme.com on DNS dumpster. Uh, let's go ahead. What is uh, Interesting subdomain that you would discover in addition to www on blog. Uh, let's go ahead to and check out the end. Let's dumpster. Let's 
So I think the NS Dumpster is way better than, you know, the NS Look Up and Dig. Because you could get all the information that you need from just the NS uh, Look Up while going through the DNS Dumpster. Mm, okay, let's go ahead. Um, looking for tryhackme.com, right? Tryhackme.com. Okay, we got it. Uh, we have what we need, the DNS server. The remote, maybe? Yeah, the remote. Because we have the blog, we have the www track me, and then the remote dots. So I honestly don't know what that, we could actually check it out, but... Uh, I'm just trying to save time, so let's go ahead and keep on pushing. So, Shodan.io is another one. Alright, uh, so the question for Task 6 is... Uh, going through Shodan I, uh, IO, the search engine, and then uh, looking up for the uh, website or the IP address. Um, we could get that from uh, the earlier NS lookup or the DNS dumpster. But now let's go ahead and answer some of the questions. So, according to Shodan IO, what is the second country in the world in terms of the number of publicly accessible Apache servers. So for this one, uh, how would you make that? So for Apache servers, So United States is number one, 13,000 Apache service, and Germany is number two. How in the heck China is not on the list? China has 921 hostess. Nah, no way, bro. All right, so number second country is probably Germany. Germany. They probably don't even use Shodan. Based on Shodan IO, what is the third most common port used for Apache? So for Apache, the top port is 443, 8181, 8181, and 80. So probably 81. Oh, 8181 and 8081. So 8081. Uh, 8081. But, so I'm not sure what the answer for this one is, but let's go ahead and try this one. Based on Shodan IO, what is the third most common port used for NGINX? Uh, let's go ahead and search that up on Shodan. And the first result that came is 903 top countries, uh, Russia, Germany. Korea, China, France, all that. So the the, the third uh, most commonly used is 5,000. Let's go ahead and try the 5,000. If that's not the answer, I'm just going to give up today. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I'm, that has to be something I'm doing wrong. So for based on, based on Shodan I.O., what is the third... Most common port used for NGI and IX. According to my Shodan, what I got is the most, the third most common one was 5,000, but apparently it's not it. So let's, we could try 8,000, maybe, or 88, 88. Uh, 8,000. If not, 88, 88, maybe. Okay, yeah, it is. And then based on Shodan IO, what is the third most common port used for Apache? Let's go ahead and go back to our search result. This is not it. 
eighty. Uh, so I finally I I had to Google it, and I found uh on Google that it says eighty eighty, but I'm not sure when this was updated. But they only have thirty nine, comparing to you know five thousand eight hundred ninety eight, uh, to eighty eighty one. But um, yeah, I'm not sure when this was updated. So try hack me guy was better on this one, honestly. When was this uh, uh updated? Um, this 400, 146 days old, it's not even that old. For summary, so in this one, we focused on passive reconnaissance. In particular, we covered com command line tools, who is NS, NS Lookup and Dick. We also discussed two publicly available services, DNS Dumpster. Uh, that was actually the better one since it has the graph and stuff like that. Uh, show and then the Shodan I.O., yeah, the power of search tools is that that you can collect information about your targets without directly connecting to them. Moreover, the trove of information you may find using the search tools can be massive once you master the search options to get used to uh, reading the results. And that's pretty much what it is for passive recon. I mean, for reconnaissance, uh, you can learn more about DNS, uh, DNS in detail. I'm probably not going to do that right now, but make sure you know all the points discussed in this room, especially the syntax for the command line. Um, if I was with you guys, I probably would go back and uh, redo this on my um, on my command line just to make sure that I actually got it. But that's pretty much what uh, this room is about. Uh, we can go ahead and complete this. I'm going to have to kind of post this real quick just to... Um, uh, motivate you guys because uh, I know how it feels every time I see someone uh, doing one of this room and they post the completion kind of motivates me more so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll see you guys tomorrow